What is up, guys? It is Russ, your Poké Russ here, and welcome back from a small, small break, small break, uh, Christmas and a day after, um, with obviously Christmas, I don't want to record on Christmas and the day after, I, I work retail, so, anyway, let's jump back into this, um, you're gonna see a slightly weakened team today in today's episode, um, uh, my Pokémon are actually in my buddy's game at the moment, getting leveled up faster than I could, because, um, I have a VGC Premier Challenge tomorrow, which is pretty freaking hype. So, most of my Tapus are busy getting leveled up there to 100, so I can fix their stats. They'll be back for, uh, next episode, and because I built a bunch of Pokemon for the VGC Premier Challenge, you will see them in upcoming episodes. So, we've got a weird, fun team here. I'm, I'm really happy with this team. Um, let's just jump right into it. Um, everything's got pretty much the same items. Um, uh, Mudsdale's rocking the Citrus Berry again. Um, and we instantly get a disconnect. Uh, so that's kind of garbage. So, how was your guys' uh, holidays? If you guys celebrated the holidays. I'm gonna jump back right on Battle Spot. Rated Battle. Mine went pretty freaking well. Um, I can't complain. Except for obviously working retail yesterday. But anyway. <laughs> um, we're gonna just jump right back into single battles. Okay, so let's see if we can get our first opponent here today. Um, I've got some new battle items, which is really cool, too. Let's see if we can break that 1500 benchmark today. It might be a bit of a challenge without any Tapus or any uh, Ultra Beasts, which I have a couple of Ultra Beasts now, so that's pretty freaking hype. We're 14 and 16 at the moment. I feel like we can pick that up. We're facing 15 13 from Bavaria, Japan. Or, wow, Germany. Look at my opponent's team, he's got Tapu Koko, Lele, um, Arcanine, Garchomp. Okay, you know what, this is a pretty standard-esque team. Um, he's either going to lead with the Tapu Koko, I really hope you can't hear those sirens in the background. Um, anyway, he's probably going to lead with Tapu Koko or the Porygon Z. The Porygon Z is to just kind of eat up the hits from Dragon, so um, he's definitely ready to take on... Like my Garchomp. What do we lead with here, assuming he leads with the Coco? Um, my Gudra honestly probably handles the Porygon Z pretty well. I don't really see a reason. Well, yeah, I don't want to bring Double Dragon because he does have the top two Tapus. Um, I need to bring the Garchomp of the Mudsdale for the Aegislash. Um, you know what? Let us go with... Starmie? No, 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 Starmie. That type of Coco threatens it way too much. Let's go with Mimikyu. Mudsdale and Gudra here. I really like that lineup. Line I'm um, still rocking the red card on the um, Mimikyu. People did suggest, or well, my buddy did suggest um, until I get to the Dark MZ, probably switch out uh, Hoenn Claws on it. But I really like that accuracy. That accuracy help. There we go. So we're in the battle with Mr. Martin, Trainer Martin. So I'm probably I'm I'm debating whether I'm taking this this um, DS to uh, the Premier Challenge tomorrow. Uh, just so I can make sure I get all the battle, because you have to you have to save, according to the new rules, you do have to save all your battle videos anyway for, um, I, he did leave the Tapu Koko, just like I expected. Um, we're gonna go straight for the Hone Claws, um, pop this Tapu Koko out into something else that doesn't want to do what this top, Tapu Koko is doing. I have the Mudsdale for the Tapu Koko in the back. He's gonna go for the Volt Switch anyway. Um, it, I think the red card doesn't work here. Now, the red card does pop. He doesn't get to choose what he switches into. So he goes into the Porygon. So I don't know if that's what he planned on going into either way. He planned on switching out, obviously, but I'm not sure if he decided to go into the Porygon. Um, with that... Um, I believe I can take one more. What does he have in the back? He go if he goes back out into the Coco. 
I think we just click play rough here and get some damage off. Um, I wanted to go for another home clause. Yeah, I wanted to go for another home clause, assuming this poor gun was going to stay in. Just because I knew this wasn't going to do too much. And this is going to one-shot our... Okay. But that doesn't even one-shot us. Okay, you know what? Oh, there's a special ta defense drop, which is kind of garbo. Um, doubtful we were living another one, unless that was, like, min damage, or max damage. Um, do we save you? Do we save you? Do we save you? Do we save you? Um, let's go into Gudra here. Let's go into Gudra. Let's go into Gudra. We're not doing much damage to this poor gun anyway. If we can save the Mimic Q and at least Shadow Sneak something later, that might come in pro plays. Um... He might have the Lele in the back as well, so we might not even get a chance to do that. But we can pretty easily Shadow Claw. I do outspeed. So this is going to copy the Sap Sipper here, which is completely fine. There's the Ice Beam. We're going to take that like a freaking champ. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Um. He had Coco in the back. He's probably going to switch into Coco. Um. Does he switch into Coco? Let's pop off a Sludge Wave and see how much it does. Yeah, I think it's the safest play, because if he goes into the back into the top of Coco, he withdraws Porygon 2, what's he go into? He goes into the Age of Slash. Okay. So, pro, pro predict there. Um, we're going to switch out into our... Do we bring our Mudsdale out here? I have the Flamethrower. Let's click Flamethrower. It is weakness policy. That is that is kind of a jerk. That well, it's a good play. It's a good play. It's a good play. Here's the stance change. Hopefully it's not physical. Hopefully it's special Gudra or it's physical. Okay, it's physical. Let's see how much this does. This iron. Ooh, that iron head does too much. Okay. Um. Let's kind of butts. Okay. Um, he's obvious. He's gonna go for the King Shield or switch out. Either way, EQ is the correct play here. Nothing he has wants to take the EQ. Unless he goes into that Porygon. That would be the only thing, and he just, like, copies stamina. That would be kind of garbage. But I think we can take that out either way. Earthquake doesn't make contact, so this, this won't affect us whatsoever. Um, we just click Earthquake one more time. He knows what we're doing. There wasn't any surprises there. He doesn't have lefties. He stand changes, goes for the Shadow Sneak. I want to see. It's going to be interesting to see how much he does here. Well, he might not be going for Shadow Sneak. Okay. Because, again, I'm a really slow horse. So let's see how much this does. Proxy Stamina Boost there. Does a little bit more than I'd like it to. But I guess at... There's the Earthquake. Here goes the Age of Slash. Just going down. Okay. I think he knew the Age of Slash was probably not living this anyway, so might as well get some chip damage on it. He's going to bring out the Tabu Coco here. He's bring out the Coco, or he's going to bring out the Porygon Z. Coco. This Coco probably has HP Ice. If it does, we can't do too much to it. Mimikyu isn't... Um... Can't switch into Mimic Q, it's gonna take a huge damage, probably knock out from that HP Ice. It's not that it's um, super effective or anything, it's just Mimic Q's about half health or a little bit lower, actually a little bit lower. Um, I think we just hit EQ here. Hope Mudsdale can take this HP Ice. I don't think he can. It has Grass Knot, actually. This is a heavy, heavy horse, and that is gonna take you down. Yep. Grass Knot against Mudsdale is huge. Um, if I had a Garchomp there, that would have been a bit better. Would have been a bit better. Hmm. You would have stalled to me and been able to go for the Dazzle Elite instead. Probably no difference there, to be honest. We're going to go into Mimikyu here. Um, this thing could literally just, like, click X attack and, like, finish me off. I'm going to go for the Shadow Claw. Yeah, there's Thunderbolt, and that's going to be our first loss for today. 
Okay. We might only do two battles in today's episode since we do have a slightly hindered team. I just really wanted to get you guys content. Um, but I also don't want to rack up too, too many losses. If, if, if we do lose. Like, I think this team's got power behind it. It's just really hard when you have 600 BSTs. Or I don't know if the... Are the top of 600? I don't know. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. We're not going to save the battle video. I should have actually clicked yes to get in the habit of it for tomorrow because of the new VGC rolls, but we're going to continue battling. We didn't choose Battle Royale. That's why we didn't win. That's why we didn't win. I'm sorry, guys. That was my fault. That was actually my fault right there. 1543 from Guantanamo, Mexico. Got us a lot. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got, a, we got a chance here. There's no Tapus, no uh, Legends. We got us a Lazzle, a Gyarados, a Kamoo, a Serena, a Primarina, and a Marowak. Okay. Let's see. It's got more physical ones than special ones. How does... Garchomp puts in a lot of work here. So does Starmie. Let's lead Starmie. Garchomp puts a lot of work in here. We might actually leave Mimikyu at home this time. Um... Do you leave Mimikyu at home this time? Do I like the Muds? No. Uh, he has two water types. I can't bring Mudsdale and Garchomp. Um... Let's bring, let's bring Gudra. We're gonna go Double Dragon this time. We're gonna go Double Dragon this time. So we're facing Yar. I think this might be the one of the first battles I don't bring the Mikyu. I love Raycard Mimikyu. Don't don't get me wrong, it's so freaking good. It's, it's it's probably one of my favorite Mimikyu's in the format. Leads Gyarados. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. Um, he's gotta have the. I think we're cl clicking the Thunderbolt either way, because. Uh, Lightning Run only raises special attack, right? And that really doesn't affect Marowak. Yeah, boost special attack. So that's not going to actually affect Marowak whatsoever. So we're, we're still going to click Thunderbolt. He's probably going to go out in the Marowak if he brought it. That's what I do. He is withdrawing into the Marowak, into the Primarina. So let's see if this thing takes this any better. Choice Specs Thunderbolt from a Starmie. Ah, uh, takes it better than I had hoped. Um. We click Udra here. Because I think the real win con is saving that Starmie for that Gyarados. There's the Moon Blast, we're gonna take that like a champ, cause... Okay, that was... was that, that wasn't a crit- what? Okay, maybe I'm just... I don't know. That was significantly more damage than I expected. There's a Sludge Wave. Is this thing Assault Vested Primarina? This thing is Assault Vested Primarina. There's no way. We take that, we take it. We good, good, good. Oh, we get the special defense, or we get the special attack drop. That's kind of garbage there. Um, we click the Sludge Wave again. He goes out into Gyarados. Does he go out into Gyarados now? Saving the Primarina? He does not save the Primarina. Will we pick up the KO with that special attack drop, though? That's the only question now. We do, we do, we do. But now we gotta get Gudra out of there. This is the perfect time for him to bring in... Oh, he brings in Serena, actually. Okay. Um, wow, we hit this thing super effective. 
What's Serena's speed? Serena's speed's slow. Um... You know what? We're gonna we're gonna stay in and go for Let's go for the sludge wave again. I think we just keep clicking okay, so it, it does not speed. Going for U-turn, it might be choice scarfed. It might be choice scarfed, Serena. It's not a great option, but it's not a bad option. But he's gonna go right back out into this Gyarados here, which is good. Good, 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 good. Because that means I get to click Thunderbolt and not really have to worry too much here. Because uh, the Serena will still come in and take a decent amount of damage from this. Um, yeah, let's click Thunderbolt here. Withdraws Gyarados into the Serena again. See how much this does. Choice specs, Thunderbolt. Doing complete garbage. Okay, um. Let's go on to Garchomp here. The Garchomp might be our wing con anyway. Let's see what this attack goes for. We might go for U-turn again. He goes for Trap Kick. We avoid. We're avoiding that all freaking day. Um, right now we just click Outrage. And go to freaking town, I think. Is Trop Kick... Grass move? Not that it matters. We're good, we're good, we're good. We just click Outrage, and we go to town. So interesting enough, I didn't know Serena was that quick. Lowers attack right there. That's a bit crazy. I didn't know the Trop Kick was that good, actually. And being Choice Scarf, that doesn't mean it outspeeds my Garchomp, which is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy sauce. There's a second Trop Kick. We live in that. There's a second Attack Drop. Do we pick up the KO here? Yeah, well, we're gonna pick up the KO easily, because of the rough skin. But sadly, we're gonna be at minus three attack. This, this is gonna give um, Gyarados a chance to set up, which might be our downfall. Is this our downfall? Does this Gyarados have Dragon Dance? Um, actually, even with Dragon Dance, I don't know what this thing's doing. It, it's going straight for Mega. Ah, uh, it's still. If it has Crunch, that's the only scary thing. see how much this Outrage does from a minus 3 attack Garchomp. Ooh. There's the Fatigue. There's the Dragon Dance. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this thing's gonna outspeed. Um. I can just click Earthquake now. Goes for a second Dragon Dance right in our face. This is gonna start to get scary real quick. I probably should have switched there. Oh, I should have switched there. We get the EQ off. See how much a minus three earthquake does. Okay. Solid damage. We really just need this thing to make contact with us. You guys for the waterfall there, I don't know if waterfall makes contact. It looks like it does. There's a rough skin. So he's at plus two. Can we take a plus two non-crunch? We can take a plus two waterfall. Maybe we're water so... I can't believe. Like, this was our win con, and we squandered it. I probably should have clicked Ice Beam that turn before. Uh, knowing that it was going to switch out. I should have. I should have made a prediction, but it's okay. We're cl going to click Thunderbolt. Do does he have the crunch? He has the crunch. That's game. That's 100% game. Plus two crunch on Psychic Star me. Ugh. Hard, hard loss. Okay. So, like I said, I think we're going to end today's episode there, guys. Um, 
The team is lacking a little something, not gonna lie, I know it is. But next time we come back, Thursday, 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 when we come back on Thursday, whole new team, it's gonna be freaking amazing. We're gonna end out the new year right with three freaking big W's. We're gonna break that mark, we're gonna break right into, uh, well, we're not gonna break into 1500, but what? But we're gonna get three big W's. It's gonna be freaking amazing. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, guys. If you guys, um, I'm gonna switch out the Mimikyu set probably. If I even decide to bring Mimikyu next time. I, I have lots of Pokemon now. Um, I'm really hyped to bring them to the channel. And we're gonna be starting VGC. Probably, since I have to record the battle videos anyway, if I bring this 3DS, then I will be able to, I'll just post commentate, um, the battles. So I might just do that. We'll see. I will see either way. I'll see you guys in the next episode. At the beginning of the next year, we will be having VGC content, which I'm super hyped about. Super hyped. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.